Hey guys, what's up nature? Welcome back to the channel and today I've got a quick little review for you guys. I've got yet another UVI library on test today. Uh, it's just been announced. It's called PX Memories and it's based on the Lintronics LAM, uh, which is in fact a Moog memory Moog. Uh, just to give you a little bit of history behind that machine, uh, Moog introduced the memory Moog in 1982. It's manufactured to about 1985 where after Moog actually filed for bankruptcy in 1987. So it was the last synth that Moog produced in that era. It was a polyphonic synth and 10 years later, a company called Lintronics introduced a modification kit for the memory Moog to address a whole bunch of issues that they had with uh, reliability of components and tuning. I believe it added MIDI and stuff as well. Uh, and so that is the test or the machine that they used to record these multi samples with. It's a modified memory Moog. Uh, coincidentally, it's uh, one of my favorite synths that Moog ever produced and um, it's also one of my favorite libraries out of the series that uh, UVI does for the UVI workstation and Falcon. Um, I'm not going to cover too much the inner workings of it because it does kind of follow the sort of standard architecture that they have for a lot of their other libraries like the JP Legacy uh, whereby you have two oscillators or two sample sources, a uh, filter per uh, source as well as well as a master filter effects uh, arpeggiators uh, a number of other different things that you can tweak and play around with so there is quite a bit of editability here uh, but once again it's impeccably sampled and the presets are really really cool and inspiring and just lush and gorgeous sounding so let's dive in we're going to check this out but before we do if you guys are enjoying this content please make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and also hit that notifications bell you know the drill it helps us out a lot and you'll know when we put out new content on the channel let's dive in we're going to take a listen some of the presets right so here we go this is px memories from uvi um i'm not gonna like i said i'm not gonna spend too much time looking at the sort of overlay of how everything works i'll just quickly browse through the various different pages for you but if you've seen any of my reviews on uvi libraries or used any of them if you have vintage vault for example you'll recognize uh most of the layout is pretty much exactly the same as the other ones However, the sample sources have all changed in this case. Um, we're going to just dive straight in and take a listen to some of the patches. Uh, there's some incredibly rich sounding stuff in here. Really, really great presets. Um, one of my favorites, we're going to take a look at Ominous Christmas. And this pad just sounds heavenly. Check this out. The depth of the sound that you get out of these are just so good. And I know it is based on samples, obviously, uh, but that's also kind of the beauty of it because these come straight from the original hardware. So there's no modeling going on here. It's just straight out of the original memory Moog with the Lintronix mod kit attached to it. Let's check out some of the other ones. More pad sounds, mm -hmm. strings. Some poly sounds. Another gorgeous poly sound there from the poly menu. Yeah. 
some of the mod wheel assignments there, kicking in a bit of a gate or LFO modulation as well as a filter. Let's dive into some of the plucks as well. It's another patch I really liked. Grab the filter on B. Really, really gorgeous. Let's check out a few pad sounds as well. I'm going to skip over some of the organ and uh, we'll check out lead sounds, maybe one or two in there. Let's get into the brass, analog brass. You gotta love the width on that, it's just gorgeous. Beautiful and warm as well. And let's get into some of the, oh, we'll do some bass and then we'll get into the op stuff because some really nice, rich, animated stuff in there, very complex riffs. Uh, let's check out the bass first. Let's get into some of the appreciated stuff or the uh, sequences. 
We'll check out the one keys first. I'll play you two or three of the, these. Let's jump into some of the animated miscellaneous stuff. Dark Vapor. Another patch that I really liked looking from the animated miscellaneous section. Love that one as well. <clears throat> Lastly, let's get into the classic op section. I know I'm kind of going backwards here, but let's check these out as well. Dr. Preggio, that sounds good. Let's try that out. Let's finish it off with Tonal Drump. With a name like that, how can you not test that one out? Let's check that out. Cool, so there you have it guys. Uh, just a brief overview of what you can expect to get out of PX Memories from UVI. Like I said, great sounding sample library and taken from uh, an era of synths, which for me is kind of the pinnacle of analog synths. I mean, this is comparable to the Sequential Prophet 5 when they came out around the same time, uh, as well as the OBXA. Uh, however, the uh, Memory Moog was kind of a step ahead of them with three oscillators per voice. And as you can hear, they just, it sounds gorgeous. Um, so definitely intro price of 49, I believe. 
full price of 79 so it's really good value for money i think there's over 300 presets in here um you can use all of the uh individual saw waves and square waves etc they've got all the raw waveforms in there as well for you obviously that can be used inside of falcon so you can kind of expand these into your own presets by using some of the waveforms inside of falcon and building on those as well uh, yeah, so uh, really great, uh, great value for money, great sounding uh, library from UVI once again. Check this one out, PX Memories, uh, and I will catch you guys soon right here at Marilla Music. Cheers.